What's up, y'all? It's Jeffrey back here at Flippin' Profit, where we create financial freedom one flip at a time. Got another top 10 of what sold video for you today. It's been a while since I've did one of these, so I've got a lot to choose from and show you the top 10 items that I sold within the past month or so. I know in the last one I said I was gonna come out with a uh, like a top 20 of the different clothing brands that I've sold recently, and uh, still working on that video. Just been super busy with my schedule lately, but um, so without any further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is this. Uh, Zariba electric powered solid state um, fence charger or uh, basically it's an electric fence like the actual device that uh, gives electricity to that wire that makes it an electric fence so um so I found this at a yard sale for three dollars it was still in this plastic container with the uh, with the manual and stuff it did show some damage to the package um, but I went ahead and listed it as new and other because it did look like it wasn't used before it still even had the twist tie around the power cord that originally comes with it so uh, it looked like it hadn't been used nothing nowhere on the item or anything and like I said the manual still folded up in there with it so just a little bit of damage to the package and I ended up selling it for $29.77 with free shipping uh, got full price for what I was asking for it and that was about what the other ones were going for so a uh, pretty good sale there next up we have these Sony wireless uh, stereo headphones I found these recently on a uh, out-of-town trip in Texas at a Salvation Army these are brand new still sealed headphones the uh, package showed a little bit of damage but um I paid 15 bucks for them and saw that comps were going for around 110 bucks so with the damage to the packaging I went ahead and listed these for 99.77 with free shipping but um, after getting a best offer of $80, I went ahead and took it and uh, man, made some really good profit on these. Of course, anything Sony brand new still sealed in the package like that, you want to look up the comps and uh, see what kind of profit there is to be made out there. I knew even for 15 bucks, I knew I could make a good flip on this and we made some pretty good profit. Next up are some Maxell 8mm uh, blank sealed camcorder videotapes. They're the smaller uh, videotapes used for uh, different camcorders. These were brand new still sealed. I had six of them, so I uh, listed them in two lots of three. I originally was asking 12 77 but sold one lot for 1050 and the other lot for 1150 so sold them within like a couple of hours of listing them so that was awesome too and I only paid 25 cents a piece so really good find there and a really quick flip all right next up we have this scrubbing bubbles automatic shower cleaner starter kit and it comes with two refills uh that's just what this item comes with it's brand new still sealed was never opened Got this from a thrift store for um, $7.50 and uh, listed it for $88.77 uh, with free shipping and it sold full price within the day so um, within 24 hours this thing sold and uh, had to use FedEx smart post to ship it because it was a little bit bulky and heavy um, it was actually pretty heavy honestly but yeah it wasn't over $15 to ship which is awesome so um, made some pretty good profit on this item and uh, what's surprising when I found this at the thrift store I saw the price tag on it it was actually like 15 bucks but they uh, I didn't realize it was marked half off so um, I was ready to pay 15 bucks after looking up comps and seeing that they were selling for almost $90. I was like, this would be a good find and um, ended up getting it for $7.50, like I said, and uh, shipping was only 15 bucks, so, um, or it was under 15 bucks, so uh, made some really good profit off this and was a really good flip. Next up, we have this Panasonic uh, Mini DV uh, palm quarter or cam quarter. It also came with the charger, um, with the power cord and the manual, and it even had the original box that it came in, so that's pretty cool. Um, it was in very good working condition. I went ahead and charged it up and tested it pretty good, and um, the battery held a good charge and stuff. So ended up listing this thing for $69.77, but um, took a best offer for $60 with uh, free shipping, and uh, once again, this was another great flip. And here are those Nike Air Maxes that I cleaned up recently in a video. Um, um, they cleaned up pretty good. I had them listed for $39.77, but took a best offer of $32.50. Um, I knew I was kind of asking a little bit much, so um, once I got this offer for $32.50, I went ahead and took it. As, as you'll see in the video, I definitely spent you know 30 minutes to an hour cleaning these things up and uh, making them look nice. Maybe to some people that's a little bit too much time and effort to be uh, only bringing in about $32.50, but um, I only paid $3 for the shoes, and it's always good experience to uh, clean up different materials and stuff, so um, I'd say it was a win-win for me. It was a 
made a pretty cool video for you guys to watch and uh, ended up making a good sale. And next up we have these um, Super Nintendo SENS Classic Edition controllers. I got these for free actually from a thrift store that uh, gives me like free electronics and stuff. Um, didn't get to test these out, but I just went ahead with my uh, gut. But um, based on the condition, they were in great condition. So I went ahead and listed them pre-owned as working condition. And um, they sold right away for $34.77 with free shipping. Like I've said before in the past, some people don't really like doing this. But when you come across certain electronics, you won't be able to test it. But um, based on its condition and stuff, um, you got to take the risk sometimes. Uh, you might get a refund or a return and have to refund the buyer. But as long as you take care of the customer and uh, treat them right and make sure that they feel satisfied from uh, any mishaps or something, then you have no problems. Um, a lot of people think that this is bad business and that you're putting a bad name on eBay and stuff. But I assure you, like for how many electronics I sell, I don't have a lot of them that come back as uh, defective or anything. And even when they do, the buyer is always happy to get a refund and we oftentimes still get positive feedback from those buyers so um, don't believe everything you hear next up is this AT&T Netgear uh, DSL modem router uh, this is like a Wi-Fi router it's in a uh, good pre-owned condition I had this thing listed for $27.77 with free shipping um, somebody sent me a best offer of $25 so I went ahead and took that it was very small and uh, very easy to ship I just wrapped it up in some bubble wrap and then it fit inside a um, padded flat rate envelope so really easy and cheap to ship and uh, made some pretty good profit on it so always be on the lookout for certain routers and stuff look up their model numbers some of them are worth really good money and uh, some of them aren't just be on the lookout and maybe you'll find one worth some good money next up are these uh, genuine dish network remotes um, made by a company called echo star this is the uh, 20.1 version or model, if you will. I had two of them, but um, only made one listing and uh, just put the quantity at two. And uh, originally had it listed for $9.77 with um, free shipping, but uh, somebody made me an offer for both of them for $8.50 a piece. So ended up selling both of them to one seller for $17 total with free shipping. So um, yeah, always be on the lookout for those Dish Network remotes. Some of them are worth pretty good money. And even if I did sell these one by one, that uh, even for $8.50, I still would have made some money in the end. I only paid a dollar for these at a thrift store. So um, sometimes you can find uh, remotes for even 50 cents or 25 cents at yard sales. So always be on the lookout for remotes and stuff like that they uh, you can make pretty good profit and uh, just to give you a little bonus about remotes here is a genuine Bose remote that I sold um, just the remote alone was twenty nine dollars and seventy seven cents with free shipping picked it up at a thrift store as well for a um, dollar and uh, ended up turning it into 30 with free shipping so can't complain about that it's uh remotes are also really cheap shipping because they're usually light so you can ship it first class through usps and uh yeah remotes pretty good flips and the last item we have here is actually um a lot of two nintendo 64 uh consoles they weren't working i couldn't get them to work and uh, i really don't have the time and stuff to break them down and try to fix them myself so i went ahead and sold them for parts only um, I originally had both the consoles listed for $39.77 with free shipping and uh, ended up taking a best offer of $33 and I was actually since they weren't working and stuff I wasn't too worried about shipping it I wrapped it up in some small bubble wrap and I fit it inside a uh, regional rate box B so uh, shipping didn't cost much at all I think it was only like 11 bucks so was able to make some pretty good money off of this. Um, I got one of these for free and another one came from a yard sale purchase. I actually bought three consoles for uh, and some games and controllers for um, 60 bucks. And uh, two of those ended up working. So I um, ended up making some money off of those. Uh, got all my money back and made some profit on those. And went ahead and took the free non-working one and the non-working one from the yard sale and uh, lotted them together to make this sale right here and made some more profit. So anytime you come across vintage electronics like that or vintage gaming consoles, even if they're not working, always be sure to look up for, uh, for parts only items and stuff like that because um, you still might be able to make some money off of it. And that is it for today's top 10 of what sold on eBay. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more big flips. Also, if you're new to my channel and you want more tips on how to sell on eBay, then check out some of my playlists. And if you're new at reselling and need some shipping supplies on the cheap cheap, then um, check out my affiliate links down in the description. If you purchase something through one of those links, then I make a small commission on it and that directly helps support the channel. So I really appreciate it. Thanks to each and every one of you for watching my videos, and until I see y'all next time, keep flipping.